This is part two of how to create a CSS layout from scratch. This is a three-part tutorial. And in the first part, what we discussed was how to define a, a site, a site in Dreamweaver. And in the bottom right of the screen, you can see that I have my site folder and just a folder system all organized, and we created the index file. Also, what we're going to look at today is using this site uh, CSS panel. If it's minimized, you can go ahead and maximize it just by clicking on the arrow. So we'll be referring back to that later. Right now, your screen probably looks something more like this. You have your properties inspector and you're in design view. I'm going to minimize my properties inspector just to make it a little easier for you to see. And I'm going to change to the split view. I like to be able to look at my code at the same time as is the design and I'll also be referring to line items in the code so for example you can see the numbers on the left four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and the opening body tag is on line eight you don't necessarily need to know code in order to do this um, but it helps give a reference point so that way we can be a little more precise on our layout before we get started designing, I want to show you kind of the concept that I came up with. Usually I like to draw things on paper. Easiest way to show this to you is using PowerPoint. So this is the concept that I came up with. And what we're going to be using are called div tags. Div tags are the building blocks of CSS. I'm going to start with a container. A container is also known as a wrapper. And basically it's going to hold all the other tags or all the other blocks it's going to contain them we're going to come up with a title navigation bar content links area and a footer notice i've already measured out or planned out the measurements for for all of these as well so let's switch back to so the first thing i'm going to do is insert a div tag up at the top here you can see your insert toolbar the second tab over is layout I'm going to click on Insert Div Tag, the first icon there. And it's going to bring up this dialog box. Now, there are all these options here. I'll go over them in a future tutorial. But right now, I just want to give it an ID container. Just for the sake of time, I'm not going to go in depth too much. So in our code view on line 9, we can see it entered div ID equals container. And then there's some text that's highlighted. Content for ID container goes here. So if we wanted to put something inside of this, we could just enter it in right there, which we do. We want to put our other div tags in there because remember, we want this to contain them all. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that text. And my cursor should be in between the two brackets in the code view. And I'm going to go back up to insert div tag, click on that. ID, I'm going to give it header. And click OK. All right, so if you did this correctly in your code, line 10, there should be an indentation there. And it'll read div ID equals header and then some more text. The key part there is though it should be indented. Uh, this is telling us that it's nested inside of the container. So it's a the container is the parent and the header is the child. That's what we want. We're going to create another div, and this time we want it to also go inside of the container, but not inside of the header. So we're going to, in our code on line 10, put our cursor at the far right of that line as far as it can go. It should be outside of that closing div tag. And then I'm going to insert another div. And this one I'm going to call navbar. And I'm going to click OK. So we should have three divs now. And we can view the parameters of them if we click on the blue word in our code. So for example, if I click on line 9, the word container, you can see in your design the container parameters are selected in blue. If I click on line 10, the word header, 
the header is highlighted. Same thing with 11. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to click on the word container. And I'm going to come over to my CSS panel. And I'm going to create a style for it. In the bottom right, there's a piece of paper with a plus sign that says new CSS rule. I'm going to select that. And again, these options, I'll get more in depth with them in future tutorials. But right now, we're just going to select advanced because we want to work with the IDs. It should say pound or number sign container. We want to keep that. New style sheet. Click OK. It's going to ask you where you want to save this. We're going to save it in the CSS folder and just give it a name. Usually I give it the name of the website and then maybe styles. Click Save. Then this dialog box gives us all the different options that we can do with this style. Again, in more tutorials, I'll be able to go in more in depth with this, but we're just going to give it some basic changes here. Background, I just changed the color. Positioning, this is important for type. I want to put relative width. Remember, I planned all of those out. I want 800 pixels, and I want 500 pixels in height. I'm going to go to the box category, and I'm going to uncheck same, in margin, same for all. And then the right and left, I'm going to change to auto. And what this will do is it will center our div tag, our container. And I'm going to click OK. You can see in the CSS styles pane, we created the business styles uh, file. And inside that file, we have a style for the container. If we ever wanted to make changes to that, we just double click it and you can make changes. And you can see it on our design view. It's now blue. And you can see it's selected still. OK, now I'm going to work with the header. So I'm going to click in my code on the blue word in line 11, header. I'm going to go back here, new rule. I can get rid of this container part. Click OK. And I'm just going to change the background color to, uh, let's go red, positioning. And this time, I want it to be absolute. And the width is going to be 700. And the height is going to be 50 pixels. For placement, again, this is placement. If you want to put the words from the after it, placement from the top placement from the right, placement from the bottom, placement from the left, and that's in relationship to the parent div tag. So placement from the top of, in this case, the container div. We want this flush up against the top, so we're going to put zero. And we also want to center this. So if you remember that parent container div was 800 pixels, this is 700. We're going to divide that in two. Well, the difference is 100. We're going to divide that into. So from the left of the container, parent container, we want it 50 pixels. I'm going to click OK. And you can see now what this did. It created our red box, and it moved it over 50 pixels from the left. We're going to use the same method for the nav bar. Click OK. I'm going to give it a background of um, maybe a gray color. Positioning. Again, we're going to use absolute from here on out. Width 700, height 25. Placement from the top of the parent div, we got to factor in our title, which was 50. So we want this flush against the bottom of the title. And from the left, 50. And click OK. And there it is. So there we go. There's the first two parts of, of the, our layout. And you can see, again, CSS panel, we have three different styles, which we can always go back and edit. Now, in the third part of the tutorial, 
I'll show you a quicker and faster way of doing this that's going to save you some time.